Hi, this is Ryan Costello. We're here live at the International Journalism Festival in Perugia, Italy, reporting for Project Council Media. I'm here with Codrina Ilie. She just gave a fantastic presentation on storytelling through maps. Very, very interesting. And uh, you said some, some really great things, Kadrina. One in particular was she said that um, as a map maker, you curate the way information gets to your reader. And I thought that was very apt, a uh, very good way to express that. Uh, I wonder if you could just take a minute and kind of tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and, and what you're up to these days. Okay, hi. Uh, first of all, thanks for inviting me <laughs> to talk uh, a little bit about myself. I am a map maker. I'm doing a PhD in um, geodata structuring in groundwater. And I've been working with maps for over 10 years, I think. Um, I'm part of a community in Romania that um, is giving training for students and for journalists there, how to build their maps, interpret the data and so on. So this is what I'm doing and this is what I'm going to be doing for the next at least two years when it comes to my PhD. Uh, one question for you on, on something that you talked about during your, your presentation, Kadrina. You talked about uh, data licensing and access to data. and. Um, you, you talked about how different companies have different licensing arrangements and that they're not always sort of legally compatible and this can raise different kinds of issues and challenges. Could you talk a little bit about maybe some of the some of the things you've come up against in this regard? The problem that uh, in my field is most expressed to as is uh, legal interoperability. You have technical interoperability, you know, a data set doesn't work on all operating system, all softwares and so on, but you have the same problem when it comes to legal. Uh, data, just a software, is licensed. Everybody should license their data, should have this information about information, this metadata. Uh, as a person working with data and building maps and building geostructures and so on, uh, I am bound and uh, it's normal <laughs> to actually read the license of the data that I'm using. As an example of poorly uh, legal interoperability, probably one of the best is given by the situation with OpenStreetMap, which is this um, voluntary um, community project to build a world map which is an amazing project which has uh, increased amazingly and a thing that really makes them as good as they are is that they provide a very clear license of their data. The matter is that this project has grown over the years and they have attracted uh, attention from, for example, um, public officials, you know, like from uh, city halls, from governments that have data and they want to help this project and they want to build, to help build this um, international free map for everyone. So they put, the, put their data in the open street map. The problem is that sometimes licensing uh, the data that comes from the government, the license, is not um, compatible. I think this is the good word for it. It's not compatible with the license that comes from the OpenStreetMap. So what happened was, in a few cases that I've heard of, the OpenStreetMap community was actually had to remove some data from the uh, some officials, some government, because it was not compatible. So this is, this is a matter that I, I have encountered. And I know that a few years ago, this was a pretty delicate issue because you know how it's like, it's, you have data as a city hall, as a government, you have data, you want to share it, but somehow legally you are bound to do it. So this is, this is, the, this is the issue. Uh, thanks a lot for that. It's, very, it's a very interesting problem. Um, you, you had mentioned also in your presentation about Creative Commons and how this would provide kind of an international standard in this regard and it may be a way, a, sort of a solution to this. Can you just kind of mention that? Uh, of course. Well, actually this was the very reason why Creative Commons was created. Creative Commons. You build something that you make it digital and you want the entire world to benefit over it. And because you understand the power of added value to what you have created, and because you understand that the society must grow and it must develop, you are willing to share what you, do, what you did, even if it's data, even if it's, I don't know, some pictures or anything. 
and you put it with this license that is international, that is standardized, and that is understood by everyone, and you put it out there and anyone can use it under this Creative Commons. Thanks a lot, Kadrina. This is Ryan Costello on behalf of Project Council Media reporting here at the International Journalism Festival in Perugia. Thanks very much for watching and stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot.